Hey everybody, well, we've been let out, we've been let out of the house and I'm actually returning back to work very shortly to carry out a site inspection on a commercial property. Now, this isn't just another inspection, we're in a whole different world with COVID-19 coronavirus, so what would be a fairly basic inspection needs a lot more planning. So I just want to talk to you today about my planning process. Uh, this isn't advice. This isn't telling you what to do. I'm just sharing the arrangements I'm making for my site visit in a few days to a commercial property. Uh, so please don't, you know, make your own mind up and come up with your own decisions about how you are, you're making any property inspections and how you're returning to work. This is purely my interpretation on what I'm doing. So as, as I've said, uh, it's not a regular job, but I've actually come up with a strategy rather than just plan the mechanics of the job, I've actually devised a strategy. First part of the strategy is my safety and the safety of others. Now in terms of my safety, I want to protect myself against getting coronavirus. However, I was quite ill at the beginning of April with all the symptoms, so I've probably had it, but without testing, I don't know, I just don't know. So I've got to assume that I've not had it and I could get it, so I've got to protect myself. And I've also got to protect others and the safety of others against transmission uh, within a building or within where I'm, I'm travelling. And also be respectful of others. Uh, a lot of people are very anxious about going back to work, so we've got to respect them. And we've got to plan in ahead and ask some other people what they want of you. Next part of the strategy are the legal requirements set down by the government in England. I say England because England has got different arrangements than Wales, Scotland and Northern Ireland. In England the restrictions have been lifted slightly so we are allowed to go back to work. So the legal requirements in England I will be following and also the client requirements. Uh, that, that's very important. It is a partnership, we are going on to somebody else's premises, we've got to follow their rules and protect their staff, as well as protecting myself. I also think we have a moral requirement. As I said, some people are anxious about returning to work with the virus still in society. So I think I've got a moral requirement to allay people's fears. If they want me to wear a face mask, I will wear a face mask. I'll be taking all the PPE with me, which I'll be talking about, a little bit later. So yeah, we've got a moral requirement not to spread it. Uh, I've hardly left the house since lockdown because I've not many places to go apart from food shopping. So actually being able to return to work, I'm extremely grateful for on site. Yes, I've been carrying on doing remote work, remote audits, and it's worked fine. But this job this week, I've actually got to go in person and carry out physical inspection which I'm fine about, but I do realise I've got a moral requirement to the wider society to stop the spread of this awful virus. And the final part of my strategy is to follow the RICS's new guidance on beyond COVID-19. They produce a range of guidance papers for reopening offices and also carrying out site inspections in commercial premises and also residential premises. They're really good. They're absolutely excellent. So if anybody's looking to reopen offices or actually do what I'm doing and visit sites to carry out property inspections, these guys are superb and they're really helpful and they point you in all the right directions. However, in England only for the, the commercial uh, building inspection one because the rest of the United Kingdom have got different restrictions than England. But I'm going to put the, the link to these guides below. They are really good and I would recommend anybody who's reopening buildings or carrying out property inspections to get hold of a copy. So in the UK the government has got five steps to working safely and the first one is risk assessment. I've got a copy of my site risk, risk assessment here. Uh, pretty standard in terms of format, but in terms of delivery, it is. so I've got hand washing, 
there's no hand washing gen, gel sanitizers, FFP3 tight fitting face masks, uh, what Public Health England is saying, hand washing again, wearing of gloves and of course if you have any symptoms don't attend, don't attend sites, so that's, that's the main message. So the risk assessment is in place and importantly I am going to agree the risk assessment content and application with the client before the site visit. Step two is developing cleaning and hand washing and hygiene procedures. Well, I won't be doing any cleaning on site, but I will be washing my hands. And I'm quite lucky because a few years ago I did a contract for the NHS and part of the induction was a hand washing course and I've, I've followed doing it ever since. Uh, yes, it takes a little bit longer than you, you used to wash your hands, but I've been washing my hands like this for probably about eight years, so I'm quite used to it. But the NHS publishes some really useful guidance on hand washing and again I'm going to put a link to it in the description below. Uh, a lot of people say when you're washing your hands sing happy birthday twice. I like to be a bit more patriotic and sing God save the Queen when I'm washing my hands so I, I know I'm doing it for a suitable duration. Step three is helping people work from home. Now as I've said I've been working from home since lockdown uh, but in this occasion I have actually got to go to site applying the correct and necessary controls. I will be maintaining two metres social distancing where possible and I will make it possible that I maintain two metres social distancing but again when I enter the premises this week I will check with the building manager that you know walking routes where there's one way systems and I'll do that on well I'll do that before I go to the building because I'm going to ring the building manager up a couple of days before the site visit just to make sure I'm familiar with their arrangements as well as my arrangements. And finally the government say where people can't be two metres apart manage the transmission risk. As I say I'm going to really try to be two metres apart but again I'm going to agree everything in advance with the building manager before I arrive on site. So I've mentioned the RICS's guidance and I'll, again I'll put a link to it all in the text below. It's really good. I have found it very useful and quite reassuring and it's very much common sense. It's very much a common sense approach and I think the governments in, the, in England have got a common sense approach with the application of it. I'm glad RICS are doing that also. So everybody please stay alert, control the virus and save lives. Uh, one thing I will be taking with me on Friday is staying COVID secure in 2020 form and this is just my declaration that I will carry around with me say I am following the rules. Other things I'll be doing, uh, anybody that knows me knows that I love travelling everywhere on the train, I will be driving in my own car on Friday and I've already planned the route and there's a car park right next to the client's office so I've got a minimal walk from the car to the office so that, that that's good. Any other time I've gone, I, I would go on the train but this time um, I want, I'm really keen on the trains being kept for our essential workers to get to the workplace. I can go in the car to this journey, even though I prefer to go on the train. But, you know, let, let's keep on protecting the key workers, the essential workers. So everybody, stay safe, stay alert, control the virus, save lives. And I'm really looking forward to getting back on site in a couple of days. So again, thanks so much for watching. If you like our videos, please subscribe we really do appreciate it we appreciate all the comments all the likes so yes uh thanks so much for watching and goodbye